Samantha, the girl scientist. Hi, my name's Samantha, and I want to be a scientist. You may be wondering why my answer is simple. I'm amazed at all the wonderful things like television, cellular phones, men on the moon, space exploration, and the list goes on. But those are big things, and I just don't understand everything about them yet. I also wonder about small things like, why do my doll's eyes close when I lay her down and open when I pick her up? Or how are cartoons made? Hmm, I know it has something to do with science. My brother Samuel wants to be a scientist too, but he likes things that I don't, like why stalactites grow. But even though we don't like the same thing, it's still science so we get along just fine. In fact, our teachers help us better understand math, technology, current events and trends, all of which are important. We even help each other and have lots of fun. I like to experiment or take things apart to see how they work. No matter what I do, I tell my mum or dad what I'm going to be doing and sometimes even ask for their help. I would never just do something, I could get hurt. Sometimes. It's best to start small, and that's just what I did. I remember my first experiment in detail, and it was a lot of fun to do. I had to do an optical illusion. You may be wondering why it's important, and all I can say is that it's a basis for making cartoons. And here's why. Our brains fill in the gaps for whatever our eyes aren't processing, so two different pictures can actually become one or still images can appear to be moving. Try this experiment. It's lots of fun and there's nothing dangerous about it. Here's what you'll need. Two small pieces of white cardboard or index cards, tape, a pencil to be used as a shaft, crayons, colored pencils or whatever you want to draw with. The experiment preparation. Draw a large bird cage on one piece of cardboard. You're the scientist and so make it look like you want. Just make it look pretty big. On the other piece of cardboard, draw a bird. Maybe a budgie or a toucan. Just make sure it's smaller than the birdcage. Tape the pictures back to back onto the pencil shaft. The expected result? What do you think is going to happen if you spin the pencil? I can't tell you because I did it and this is your discovery. The experiment. Hold the pencil between the palms of your hands. Rub your hands to make the picture spin round. Of course you have to look at the picture while it's spinning. The experiment result. You should have seen the two pictures appear as one. If you didn't see the bird in the cage, keep trying until you do. That is science. Have some fun and try different pictures. I even put Samuel in jail once. Hey, do you want to do a little magic and make a spot on a piece of paper disappear? It's different for each person, but it does disappear. Yes, it's science too. But let's get to the experiment. I'll explain the science later. It's simple to set up. Just draw a square about one quarter of an inch to one side of a white piece of paper and colour it in. Draw a circle about three to four inches to the right. That's about the same size as the square and colour fill it in. This is the dot you're going to make disappear. Actually, you can draw two small pictures or letters or numbers or whatever you want. One of them will disappear. After you draw them, Hold the paper at arm's length. Close your left eye and focus on the square with your right eye. Slowly move the paper towards you. At some point, the dot will disappear. Try it again and make the square disappear. Close your right eye and focus on the dot with your left eye. Move the paper towards you until the square disappears. It's magic. Well, actually it's science. You see, the spot where your optic nerve connects to your eye doesn't have any photoreceptors. That means it's a blind spot, 
and we all have them. You never notice this blind spot because your two eyes work together to cover it up. Just like in the first experiment, your brain fills in for the blind spot with the background. I have a question for you. What do you think will happen if you use a coloured piece of paper like red? If you don't know, do another experiment and see for yourself. Science is fun, and I'm glad I'm going to be a scientist. Maybe you'll decide to be one too. The end.